Good morning, folks. My name is Guilherme, and this is a special day because after almost a month having problems, I finally managed to fix and get the Armor Tree skinning up and running. Well, what kind of problems did I had? Well, it's a long story, but I will summarize it for you in a few sentences. If you take a look at my previous video, you will see some weird parenting behaviors everywhere, like the bone rotation around the center instead of the local space, all bones placed in the center of the object, and of course, some weird mesh deformation that was due to my disparate attempts to transpose all the matrix during the process. Well, transposing the matrices? Yes, I think the model loader that I am using uses transposed matrices by default. My game engine and OpenGL does not, so when I import everything, I first have to transpose the matrices in order to make it fit with my game engine. Somewhere in these days ago, I tried to transpose the matrices as well by default in the engine just to make sure that the problem wasn't there. And it wasn't there. Good news, I guess. Due to all these problems, I decided to give up on using a simp as the model loader and started to write my own BPI Blender exported. I was doing great until I discovered that Blender stores armature data in an extremely weird way. And here we go again to a scene. Back to the bone parent issue, I decided to rewrite my parent system. Yes, no scissors at all. Then I rewrote the entire game engine transform systems following a VKS approach and again no scissors. Come on, at this point you may imagine my frustration. Just to give you an idea, right now the system is working and the whole system, excluding the imported, is about 200 lines of code. An entire month lost because of 200 lines. I'd say that I can easily write the entire game engine from scratch again in the same time period. So what happened that I managed to get it working? Well, yesterday I was brushing my teeth before I go to bed and I had an eureka moment. For some reason, a simp was adding a blank node between every two bone connections, like between every bone parent and children, that I wasn't being able to figure out why or how it works. So my approach at this moment was just to ignore it and skip these blank nodes. What if I try other file format instead of FBX? Then I got back to my office in the middle of the night, turned the computer on and tried Collada. And guess what? It, it fixed 90% of the problems. The last problem that I fixed today morning is due to the rotations. For some reason, GLM, the library that I'm using for math, doesn't handle quaternions to matrix conversions very well every time. Or it's just me not knowing how to use it. Who knows? In the end, I just replaced the VKS transform approach with the vector matrix and vector approach, just like Blender Game Engine does, using a vector tree to store position and scale and a matrix 3 by 3 to store the rotation. And it works! Awesome! I know that this video in the background does not seem to be a huge deal, but this pose was actually a keyframe in the animation. I just need to create the timeline right now. And yes, I'm rotating an individual bone in the video to test it. Well guys, that's it for today, so I'm happy that now I will finally be able to keep going to the engine. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and I see you in the next time.